بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ انٹراپارٹیکل ڈیفیوژن بیفور دس وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ سوڈو فرسٹ آرڈر سوڈو سیکنڈ آرڈر اینڈ فرسٹ آرڈر ریئیکشن ایز یو نو دیٹ دا ایڈزاپشن از اے سرفیس فینامن دس مینس دیٹ دا پارٹیکلس آر دا مالیکولس دیر آر ایڈزاب آن دا سرفیس آف on the surface of the adsorbent. But you know that whenever there is some adsorbent, it may have intracellular spaces and the particles may diffuse inside that those intra, uh, intracellular spaces and can adsorb over there. In this figure, you can see that the intraparticle diffusion is a bit explained The adsorbent molecules, the adsorbate, they, uh, you can see that intraparticle spaces inside an uh, adsorbent. And these, the adsorbate molecules, they can enter inside and they can adsorb onto the active sites. So this model explains the, basically the process of diffusion. The equation for this model is Qt is equal to Kid plus T half or T underscore plus I. This is I. I is basically the thickness of the layer and K is the intraparticle diffusion constant. This is, this model is also called as Weber-Morris model or inter, in IPD, intraparticle diffusion. IPD model. Okay, let's write. IPD. IPD model. Okay, so if you linearize this equation, y is equal to mx plus c or y will be qt and m will be, the k value will be our slope and x is, on x axis we will have, we will take t underscore or t half and i will be, the intercept will be for thickness. Okay, first of all, let's calculate qt. qt, the formula is c naught minus ct divided by mass of the adsorbent multiplied by volume. So in this case, our volume was, volume reaction volume, volume in liter was 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and mass of the absorbent in grams was also 0 0.01. This means that 1 milligram per ml or 1 gram per liter. So this is equal to C naught initial concentration minus CT multiplied by volume divided by mass. This we will lock the column by putting the dollar sign before and after the column number uh, before and after the column. And we'll drag it till the end. Or t half will be equal to square root of our time. Square root of time will give us b t half. Okay. Now we will make a graph between t half and qt. We will plot this t half and qt. Let's edit this. Our x axis value is t half while our y axis value is qt. Give this is intra or you can simply write it IPD, IPD model. 
so we'll take we will add a trend line we will add a linear trend line and display equation and r square value which will give us the value of intercept and slope our slope is the k value 1.826 and our intercept is minus 2.06 as our intercept value or the thickness value is in minus so this means that the r square value r square value is 0 0.96 0 0.96 okay as our intercept value is is in, is in minus minus 2.06 this means that multiple uh, there are different factors which are affecting the process so the intercept can be negative the negative intercept can be explained by the combined effect of film diffusion and surface reaction control so in 2008 langmore in his paper he said that it can be explained by the combined effect so th this means that if your intercept value is negative there is combined effect on the system so it can be negative mostly in most of the cases this is zero or positive it is passing through the intercept is zero or it can be positive but if you are getting the negative value this means that the system is controlled by the combined effect of film diffusion and surface uh, reaction so there is surface reaction surface absorption is also taking place surface reaction is also uh, taking place and there is also the phenomena of film diffusion film diffusion i will explain in uh, in next lecture but over here you just understand that the negative intercept value it can be you can get the negative intercept value and it can be explained by the combined effect of film diffusion process and the uh, reaction which are taking place on the uh, surface of uh, the adsorbent so let's play with these and you can now add the chart elements axis title x axis and y axis title y our y axis is qt milligram per gram while on our x x s is t 0 0.5 in second or half second t half So now this is our IPD model. Hopefully you understand how to plot the data in IPD model and interpret the data. If you obtained negative intercept, then how you can explain that, that can be the combined effect of different systems. It can be due to film diffusion process and the interaction between the film diffusion process and the uh, surface reaction. If you find these explanation helpful, please like the video and share the video with your uh, fellow students and colleagues thank you very much and allah hafiz